All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of his beloved Son who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names in the last one, Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. Double honor to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, and blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. I'm back with another lesson through the Spirit of Papi Hao by Shemam Shai. And the title of this lesson will be By Faith. Okay? By Faith. And I want to dive into this example here dealing with, um, or this account here dealing with our great forefather, uh, Abraham. Okay? And this is uh, a great example of trusting the process. Okay? So starting here with um, <clears throat> Genesis 22 and 1. It says, and it came to pass after these things that the heavenly father did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham. And he said, behold, here am I. And he said, take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest and get thee into the land of Moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. Okay, now here it is. The Lord is testing Abraham's faith okay and it, <clears throat> and his obedience all right by asking him to uh, offer up Isaac okay which when you go into the scriptures um, some chapters prior let me see let's go to Genesis 15 okay here we go it says Abram promised the son right this is genesis 15 and 1 it says after these things the word of the lord came unto abram in a vision saying fear not abram i am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward and abram said lord power what wilt thou give me seeing i do i mean i go childless and the steward of my house is this Eli eliezer of damascus and abram said behold to me thou hast given no seed and lo one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, speaking of, um, I believe, Ishmael, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought, brought, uh, and he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall I seed be. And he believed in Yahweh, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Okay? So he believed um, Yahweh by Shemal Shai. So let's go back. Okay? Uh, yeah, let's go back. So verse 2, it says, And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering, upon one of the mountains which i will tell thee of okay now let's go to genesis 21 and 12 it says and the most High said unto abraham let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad right speaking of ishmael <clears throat> it says let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bond woman and it and all that Sarah have said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So the point being is that um, Abraham believed, okay? He believed. And he didn't, he didn't question the will of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So it says, and he said, take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him therefore a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. <clears throat> okay. And Abram rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass. All right, now that's a tough thing. Okay, and you can see the emphasis on whom thou lovest, right? And that's a that's a tough thing. So you can imagine, you know, um, you know, that night. Because it says he rose up early. So you could only imagine the thoughts that went through Abraham's, Abraham's head. Right? Remember, he's being tested. 
And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up early and went into the place of which the Most High had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. So that was a three day journey. So he had he had a lot on his mind, man. OK. <clears throat> but he was all for it, man. You know, um, because he understood that going back to, you know, the promise that the Lord made with him concerning uh, his seed, concerning Isaac. Um, he knew the Most High is not a man that he should lie. OK, he trusted in the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Numbers 23 and 19, it says the Most High is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? So, um, we have to have that same level of faith, you know? Um, concerning, you know, our process uh, in the midst of these trials, okay? And, 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 and go with the flow in faith, okay? Trusting Yahweh by Shema Shai is guiding our steps. <clears throat> All right, because Abraham didn't know exactly, uh, you know, exactly why the Lord um, asked him to offer up or told him to uh, offer up his son. Okay, but he was he went with it, man. All right, trusting in the Lord. Okay, let me read some more of this. It says, Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off, and Abraham said, said unto his young men, Abide ye here with his ass, with the ass, and I and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it up upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said my father and he said here am I or him yeah here am I and my son and he said behold the fire and the wood but where is the lamb for a burnt offering <clears throat> and Abraham said my son the most high will provide him himself a lamb for a burnt offering so they went both of them together and that was that was like a little spiritual clue right there and they came to the place which the Most High had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac with bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar of the wood. You know, and this is a very intense moment right here. It says, And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest Yahweh, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. So the point being that, <clears throat> he was being tested, okay, and uh, he trusted, he trusted the Lord, he trusted Yahweh by Shemahav Shai, okay, and, um, you know, not knowing what was going to happen, but he obeyed the Lord, right? And like right here it says, and he said, lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him, for now I know that thou fearest the Most High. So he passed the test. All right, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, that only son from me. So he didn't put, he didn't put his son. All right, that he that he loved, like like the scripture made emphasis on here in uh, verse two, and he said, "Take now thy son, that only son Isaac, whom thou lovest." Okay, so he didn't put Abraham. I mean, he didn't put Isaac before Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay, and um. <clears throat> You know, we must uh, we must have that same level of faith 
okay? Trust in the process of your how by from outside because when you're in the midst of it, you don't know exactly what's going to happen next when you're in the midst of a trial, okay? But the Lord told us this, Isaiah 55 and 8, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. Right, we don't know exactly what the Lord has planned. Uh, for us, we don't know exactly the path that the Lord has us on, where it's going to lead to, but we got to trust it. We got to trust that Yahweh by from outside is guiding and directing us, right? Which that should be something that you should be praying for the Lord to guide your steps and righteousness. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, uh, neither are your ways, my ways, said the Lord, right? And that's why a lot of people, you know, don't understand. That don't understand the scriptures, they always, they always try to. They don't. They don't understand exactly what the Lord is doing. You know, they don't understand why they would. Uh, the Lord will put tests on men. They try to apply their logic to it. Nah, the Lord's thoughts are way higher than our thoughts. It says, "For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts." NLT says. My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord. And my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. You see? <clears throat> so Abraham necessarily, didn't necessarily try to understand exactly why the Lord wanted him to offer up Isaac. But now, I, you know, once he passed the test, he understood. All right? Because, you know, the angel gave him the answer. I see that thou fear the Lord. And he didn't put nothing before the Lord. NLT says, for just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts uh, higher than your thoughts. <clears throat> okay, so we have to have that, um, that same level of faith when going through it. This is um, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. And that's exactly what our great forefather Abraham was doing. He was walking by faith, man. You know, he was, he was, of course, he was in his flesh. He had emotions. All right. But he didn't let that hinder him uh, in that moment, man. You know, you never know what the Lord has planned for you, man. You just got to go uh, through with it in faith. Okay. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 8. It says, By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. You see? He never questioned, uh, questioned uh, the Most High. He always obeyed, man. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whether he went. He didn't know what was what was uh, in store for him. NLT says, It was by faith that Abraham obeyed when the Most High called him to leave home and go to another land that the Most High would give him as an inheritance. He went without knowing where he was going, right? He trusted the process. That's faith, man. By faith, right? Now, uh... Let's jump down here. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 17. It says, By faith Abraham, when he was tried, right? We just read it. Offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Another clue. Of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Accounting that the Most High was able to raise him up even from the dead. From whence also he received him in a figure. So that's beautiful, man. So his faith was so strong that he uh, he believed, okay, you want me to offer him up? Okay, well, I believe that you could you could bring him right back. <laughs> you know, his faith was that strong. Okay, he trusted Yahweh Shemal Shai completely, man, fully, 100%, man. Okay, and that's the type of faith we have to have. Well, we don't even know what's next. Okay? But we got to entertain righteous thoughts of faith. All right? Because you never know what the Lord has planned. Um, let me see. Uh, let's go to Judith. 
We're gonna come back to Sirach 44. Let's go to Judith, Judith real quick. This is Judith 8 and uh, 25. It says, Moreover, let us give thanks to the Lord our power, which tried us even as he did our fathers, right? Our fathers, right? So the Lord has always tried men. All right? That's how your help by Shema Shai gets down. Okay? That separates the real from the fake. The Lord trying you, right? And and as we can see, that was a that was a heavy trial dealing with uh, our grateful father Abraham. It says, Remember what things he did to Abraham and how he tried Isaac. And what happened to Jacob in Mesopotamia of Syria when he kept the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother. So, <clears throat> so the Lord always tries us, man. Gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. But what the scripture say, be patient when thou art brought to a lower state. <laughs> so we got to constantly trust in how about Shemal Shai, trust the process. Um, so I'll end it here. And Lord's was it's all lining up, you know. This is um Sirach 44 and 19. It says, Abraham was a great father of many people, and glory was there none like unto him, who kept the law of the most high and was in covenant with him. He established a covenant in his flesh, and when he was proved, he was found faithful. Okay, so when, when you're being proved. You want to be found faithful. All right, you don't know what's next, but you got to trust your heart by Shema Shai. Okay? Trust the Lord and entertain righteous thoughts of faith, man. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's ultimately all about faith. All right? Faith and fear. Faith and fear. So the Lord's was edifying by faith, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Shema Shai. By Shema Kakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.